been talking to some people. One of my contacts just had some guy in Arshada asking about me. Sounds like he's asking to get shot. Hear any objections? Me neither. My contact says the guy practically screams spook. He's asking about my whereabouts. Goes by the name of Carteri. The spook, not my contact. I think we have time to pay him a visit, don't you? Let's look him up. Find out who sent him. Alright, then we have a plan. I've always heard how beautiful Alteron's supposed to be. Figures I'm gonna see it in the middle of a war. At least he'll still be pretty in the holos. Bloodshed's an art. Alderaan will make a fine canvas. I know you love what you do, but get your head checked. Seriously. Let's just watch the holo and find out who your target is. Welcome to Alderaan, Hunter. Former tourist capital of the Core Worlds. Your target here is a nobleman nicknamed the Durasteel Duke on account of his knack for staying alive. Over a thousand assassins have come and gone trying to put the Duke to bed, but he ain't met you yet, right? He was last seen with House Gerard. They're guests of House Thule, so that's a good place to start looking. Good luck. Figures should gloss over the details. Lucky for you, I'm on the job. Fill me in. I hate surprises. In a nutshell, when the Queen of Alderaan died a few years ago, the head of the military declared himself king. That didn't go over so well. Now the three largest houses are fighting over the crown. Who would have seen that coming? A lot of people didn't. Boris Olgo was a Republic war hero. House Organa and House Thule are Olgo's only real opposition, but they're at each other's throats too. Basically, Organa wants Alderaan back in the Republic, and Thule came back from exile with the help of the Empire. Hey, are you getting all this? Yeah, very nice job. Thorough. Well, this is kind of old news. I had plenty of time to read up on the trip here. Come on. We better go pay a visit to House Gerard. Oh, and one last thing. The nobles of Alderaan are different. They think they're untouchable, and they won't be impressed, no matter how big a gun you wave around. I just cuffed the whelp for scuffing my boot with the stirrup when... Oh! Abominable. My, my, what have we here? You look bored, handsome. Why don't you get me a drink? Jorian whiskey? You strike me as a lady who likes something with a little bite. Stop encouraging her, Rafid. You need no more opportunities to drag our family's name through the mud. You must leave, now, and use the servant's exit. People would talk if they saw someone of your ilk here. People are gonna talk after I blast you out of your boots. Are you going to take that, Hater? It's armed and armored. Let's be serious. The gods may deal with this creature. That's the first sensible thing that you've suggested since this started. Ladies and gentlemen, please, return to the festivities. I will have a few words with our esteemed guest here. You better pick those words more carefully than your friends here. I will deal with you respectfully if you extend me the same courtesy. You aren't seriously considering dealing with this thug? Uncle, please. I have the situation well in hand. Return to the festivities. This is not a request. I believe I know why you're here. But this is a discussion best held in private. Please wait in my office. I'll be right with you. Hmm? I'm a bounty hunter. I'm after the Durasteel Duke. Can you help or not? Right to the point, yes? I'm afraid the Duke and his sister left House Gerard some time ago under unpleasant circumstances. House Gerard now has a vested interest in finding the Duke and having him meet an unpleasant end. A minor noble claims to have a lead on the Duke. However, he insists on meeting in person, which I'm not willing to do. Instead, I will employ you. Just tell me where to find this twerp. This transaction must be handled delicately. I can't expect you to navigate the intricacies of our society, but I can give you the authority to negotiate on my behalf. From this point on, you will act as House Gerard's advocate, a role of honor. Come. 
I will walk you through the appointment ceremony. Let's make this happen. Please kneel. I, Baron Zaka Gerard, do hereby bequeath my voice and my seal to this proxy. Now repeat after me. I humbly accept this honor and swear to carry my authority in a manner befitting the Lord I serve. I humbly accept this honor and swear to carry my authority in a manner befitting the Lord I serve. You may rise. Well done. There may be hope for you yet. It is customary for information to be double encrypted in these transactions, so Lord Malthus must enter his half of the key before you take the data. I'll let Malthus know you'll arrive at his encampment soon. Be on your best behavior. Stop right where you are. You have no rank here. Etiquette dictates that no one below my rank is permitted within ten paces of my person without my express consent. It used to be five paces. I suppose the war is making people jumpy. Wait, you? You are the advocate of House Gerard? Outrageous! I would not trust the likes of you to scrub my sewage, let alone deliver vital correspondence. Here's your opportunity to just shut up and hand over the message. You don't make demands of me, Mongrel. Honor dictates this message must stay in my care until I give it to someone of rank, not a trained thranta. Look, I have here tokens of respect for my peers, a mission for a page. Deliver them and earn a ten-year-old's honor. Then I can speak to you. How about I deliver your teeth? Your artful diplomacy is a wonder to behold. Oh! You struck me! How dare you! You... you... whatever you are! I'll see you slaughtered like an animal! What are you always waiting for? Pound this cur to the ground! Baron Zaka will hear of this offense. Enjoy explaining why my information will now go to someone else. I demand that you prostrate yourself and beg for mercy. Or so help me, I'll have you brought before a tribunal for these grievous affronts. You're a slow learner. Ah! Stop that! You'll regret- All right, all right, all right, quarter, quarter, I relent. I shall enter my half of the security key. You take this message to Baron Zaka with my fond regards. And what bruised more easily, his ego or his face? May we never meet again. It is clear that you have plans in motion, nephew. Ah, your newest lackey. Tell me, did my nephew mention that he already hired a bounty hunter and got him promptly killed? Just saves me the trouble of taking him off the payroll. Hmm. Think that was the you-know-who here for the you-know-what? If you would please excuse yourself, uncle. I have business with my advocate. I see how your brat Rafid learned to disgrace us. Advocate. Ah. I just got a very impolite communication from Lord Malthus, saying that you assaulted him. Is that true? I should have fed him my blaster. Don't get carried away. We were fortunate that your roughhousing didn't cost us the prize. According to Malthus's information, Duke Corwin is in negotiations with our enemy, House Organa. They're placing messages in phony relics at House Alder's Royal Museum for later retrieval. Duke Corwin's placed an imposter relic in the museum recently. You'll have to forcibly enter House Alder and find it. Can't I just buy a ticket and take the tour? House Alder is a vassal house of Organa. They are at war with us as much as anyone else. And use extreme caution. The museum holds priceless cultural treasures. Nobody wants to be responsible for destroying that heritage. Priceless is something Alderanians only use to describe things they still own. Catch my drift. What is all that noise? Jackpot. How good are you at shooting with your hands full? Oh. Oh, no. Out, please. Take your battles elsewhere. This museum has no strategic value. I'm looking for a phony relic, that's all. You must be mistaken. Each piece here is an irreplaceable artifact from Alderaan's long and distinguished heritage. Some are thousands of years old. You must go before anything is damaged. 
I'm not leaving until I find what I'm looking for. I have cared for these antiquities for 57 years. Every item here is the genuine article. I can prove it to you. I have an integrity scanner we use for restoration work. It will only take a few minutes to scan for a non- Oh no! The security cameras, they've spotted you. You can't fight in here. Guess you better hurry then. Oh no, oh no, oh no! I've, I've found something, but that's impossible. If this is a fake, where is the real first founding memorial vase? You won't be needing it then. Hand it over. Yes, yes, of course. You have what you want. Now, please, leave. Please. Accept your hand? <laughs> I'd sooner thrust my fist into a thresher. I, I don't understand. I, I thought this had already been arranged. Approved. Advocate, be so kind as to remove this thing from my presence. Kindness doesn't pay. Try again. You would have this thug manhandle me? Uh, fine. I'll pay you. Just get this insufferable swine out of here. You heard the lady. Th this must be some kind of mistake! Ugh! Well, that was at least worth the week's pocket money. I hope you know what to do with that much. This is going straight to the ammo and explosives fund. Good day, advocate. Your attack on House Alder certainly didn't go unnoticed, but you managed not to cause any unnecessary destruction. That merits a bonus, I think. Appreciate it, Baron. You'll be certain to see more if you continue to perform with distinction. Let's see what you've discovered. Hmm. This is an Organa's house tongue. Give me a moment to pass the details. These houses. Thule vassals. Ulgo vassals. House Organa. Duke Corwin isn't just allying with the Organas. He's organizing an entire coalition against the House Thule. He won't be organizing squat when I'm done with him. Oh, you'll never have the chance to make good on that threat. My cousin is safe within the sanctuary of House Wrist. If he's under their protection, it's little wonder why the Juristeel Duke always survives. The Wrists are a family of assassins who ascended into nobility through centuries of murder and sabotage. Duke Corwin is beyond our reach. Anybody who can't kill someone face to face ain't a concern of mine. The last bounty hunter I hired probably thought the same thing. You'll need to find Duke Corwin's haven inside House Wrist and stop whatever negotiations my cousin has underway permanently. I'm likely sending you to your death. But if you can manage to succeed, I will have a suitable payment waiting. Keep your blaster handy. I smell a trap. I'm afraid you're too late. Duke Corwin took his leave of House Wrist on a shuttle just moments ago. Rather hastily, I might add. So hastily, he neglected to pay me. A rather gauche breach of etiquette. And unwise. Folks don't see so clearly when I'm hot on their trail. I'll admit your dog in pursuit has been rather impressive. Still, it's odd to see Duke Corwin panic. Regardless, congratulations are in order for surviving this long. It's more than can be said for the last bounty hunter to stalk our dear Duke. I do got this funny habit of breathing. I see you have a sense of humor. It'd be a shame to see it extinguished. I'm going to make you an offer, and I'm only going to make it once. House Wrist has been contracted to eliminate Baron Zakhar Gerard and all of House Gerard's leadership. We'd like to commission you to carry out these assassinations on our behalf. You're asking me to kill my present employer. It's bad form. Hardly. Wait until after you've collected Baron Zakhar's bounty on the Durasteel Duke before you destroy House Gerard. There's no rush. House Wrist has no further obligation to Duke Corwin. Agree to the contract. You can go in peace. It's a good deal. Let's take it and scram before anyone else tries to put holes in us. It's a simple decision, really. Death. Or profit. You got yourself a deal. Excellent. I'll look forward to concluding our business together. We'll be in touch. One way or another. I told you Alderaan would be profitable for someone with a little ethical flexibility. Advocate, are you there? Damn this blasted thing. 
Can you hear me? I have news. I don't dare discuss the details on an insecure channel. Please return to House Gerard as soon as possible. I apologize for recalling you here, but I couldn't risk my cousin catching wind of this discussion. If his retreat from House Wrist is any indication, the Durasteel Duke is already running scared, and I'd like him to stay right where he is. It may not be our goal, but crippling House Wrist is worth noting. Consider this payment for supporting the Thule War effort. Nothing beats a stack of credits. <sighs> what is the meaning of this? I just caught this little rake of yours in a dalliance with my wife. More like you caught your wife in a dalliance with me, cuckold. Unless you want half of House Thule questioning why we continue to keep you riffraff here, You'll grant me that winter haven of yours. My grandfather's estate? Are you mad? That's half my family's lands. Advocate, kill this petty extortionist, and I'll double what I just gave you. They're your credits. Worth every last credit. Thank you, Advocate. Raffid, you're confined to your chambers indefinitely. Hope I do not keep you there for the rest of your natural life. Now get out! My life or yours, father? As I was saying, with House Wrist unable to protect him, I have no doubt that Duke Corwin is seeking asylum with the Organas. Makes sense, considering how buddy-buddy they've been. The facts support that assumption as well. Thule scouts reported spotting a civilian shuttle headed into Organa territory shortly after you breached House Wrist's compound. There's nowhere left for my cousin to run. Go kick down House Organa's doors and give them hell. Expect a bonus for any additional Organa casualties. Valor, help! Someone is trying to kill me. Valor! Wait! Don't shoot. I'm not who you think I am. Look! See? The Duke's a duchess? Huh? Not exactly. Well, it looks like the cavalry finally arrived. Don't be alarmed. This is a misunderstanding. I am sure we can reach an agreement without further bloodshed. This isn't about money. The Duke's gotta die. If you want to see the Duke, you need only look there. The real Duke Corwin died almost a month ago while visiting to negotiate a treaty. Even using Colto's suspension, our attempts to revive him have ultimately failed. All we've managed to do is delay his bodily death. Doesn't explain why you've got his sister running around as a decoy. Duke Corwin promised he'd rally nobles loyal to him to Organa's side. But his death dashed any hopes of those alliances. Lady Corwin agreed to help us and her. Strong family resemblance allowed her to make a convincing double for her brother. Uh, if I'd known it was that easy, my double cost me a hot's fortune. We sent her to House Wrist to maintain the illusion that the Durasteel Duke was alive and well until she finished negotiating those alliances. You may as well have put a blaster to her head yourself. We never imagined someone could harm her while under the protection of House Wrist. Since you're more than capable of taking Duke Corwin from us, we won't resist under two conditions. Leave peacefully and speak nothing of this deception to anyone. Hmm, free money or blood money? Life's always full of tough decisions. Will you agree to those terms? I'd rather rack up my bonus kills. I'll be right behind you, all the way to the bank. No, please, no! Ah! Open fire! This is a new low, Rafid. You're accusing me! If anyone is... Gentlemen, compose yourselves. Our esteemed guest has returned. We are busy, Bounty Hunter, and as you can see, Baron Zakar is otherwise indisposed. My nephew's last act was preparing a sum of credits. I can only assume they're yours. This should cover it. The Baron has no further need of your services. I have to assume the burden of managing my nephew's estate. As the Baron's only son, I have first claim to succession, Hader. Your claim was forfeit the moment you killed your father. As regent, the title passes to me. Actually, father, 
The Baron passed his authority to our advocate. Legally, the bounty hunter could name the new head of House Gerard. Why do either of you deserve to be Baron? Being my nephew's faithful right hand for years obviously makes me the most suited to this task. Besides, I've accumulated a tidy sum over the years. Appoint me Baron and I'll see you well rewarded. Ha! Hater keeps his purse strings so tight he could garret you with it. Now you, you look radiant with the blush of power. Ever considered becoming a Baroness? Should either one of them take over, we'll all end up paupers or lapdogs to the Thules. Advocate, you've already helped me work towards escaping the chattel role I'm relegated to. If you would finally liberate me from these buffoons, I would be very grateful. Enough pandering. What's your decision, Advocate? Rafid's the next of kin. He gets it. You hear that, hater? You'll be answering to me now. I should have expected you two hoodlums to be as thick as thieves. I'd have you charged with murder, but lording over you sounds more fun. Now, I expect lords will want to foist their prudish little darlings on me. Best put a stop to that. Care to be the lady of the house? No obligation toward fidelity, of course. You've got yourself a deal. Come, dear. Let's forego the nuptials and proceed to the honeymoon. Why, you are quite the animal. Stay a while. Sorry, got a job to do. I'll be sure to make conjugal visits. Try not to lose any parts I might miss. Looks like Rist isn't happy about you going back on your contract. You looking for trouble? No need to be alarmed. I'm only here to deliver a message. While House Rist regrets that you decided to renege on our agreement, it makes no real difference in the end. It is unfortunate that our individual arrangements had us at odds earlier, but that's simply the nature of our business. My master wishes to ensure that there's no ill will left between us. I don't know. I can be real temperamental. I find credits help lighten my mood. My master anticipated this. Please accept a peace offering. House Rest will no longer interfere with your affairs. News Tarot Blood will not take graciously, I'm sure. He fronted a considerable sum to ensure his rivals were dealt with. I imagine he'll threaten some reprisal, but I think we both know what Tarot Blood's word is worth. Bioscan, incoming. The Durasteel Duke, confirmed. <laughs> Guess he wasn't blaster-proof after all. You're clear to move on. Any word on our rival? It's been confirmed that Irido-san was disqualified in his sleep weeks ago. Guess he got sloppy. Welcome to the final round, Hunter. Contact your handler when you're ready to proceed. Good hunting. Just start prepping my parade. If you're looking to be surrounded by cheering fans, you really need to work on your personal skills. It looks like someone's been trying to get through. What do you bet it's Krista waiting to talk our ears off? I know who you are, Hunter. You have made an enemy of Taro Blood. Even now, Taro's comrades head to Narshada to discuss ways to eliminate you from the Great Hunt. I am sending you the coordinates of that meeting. I do not know how long they'll be there, so I'd suggest haste. Is this your idea of a trap? Yes, but you are not the one it's meant to ensnare. Taro robbed you of your allies in this competition. It seems only fitting that you return the favor. I'd rather bury his family, but friends are a start. Do not mistake this task for petty vengeance. This is justice. Go to Narshada. Confront those who have dishonored you and my people. Show them what it means to be a true warrior. That was Hedar Soon. I, I can't believe it. If you're done gushing, I want to know about your new crush. Well, if you ever kept up with anything, you'd be impressed too. Soon was the youngest bounty hunter ever to win the Great Hunt. But that was over 65 years ago. Oh, he had an amazing career. Most of the crazy hunter stories out there are attributed to him. He's what bounty hunting is all about. If Soon wants to help us, we should seriously consider heading to those coordinates. Oh, it's good to relax. 
This is as close as I'm getting to it these days. Something wrong? Wrong? Oh, yeah, that's putting it lightly. I'm going nuts here. I've spent so long keeping one step ahead of somebody, I can't believe I've lost them for good. At least when I'm out with you, I usually know where the blaster fire's coming from. Keeps my mind off trouble. Mostly. If you want me to give you more time to loaf around, forget it. Are you even listening? The last thing I need is more time to myself. Let's see how easily you brush off your old instincts and catch 40 winks after you've spent 30 years bounty hunting. I knew you were a career scoundrel, but 30 years on the run? Pretty impressive. Things weren't so bad until people finally realized the same guy was responsible for most of their woes. And I've made some enemies over the years, believe me. Two and a half dozen hut families, the entire Karelian Exchange... And there was that whole blockade incident that ran the Mandalorians home with their tails between their legs. Come on, I think I've had my fill of all this cheering up. Following you around isn't so bad. You visit the most extravagant locales. Oh, I picked up a little souvenir from the Royal Museum. I thought we could make sure these get put to better use. You're giving me something worth money? Hmm, gesture of good faith and all that. Figured if I'm stuck here, I might as well lighten the mood. Unless we find a collector, we'll need to fence these. Quick turnaround will forfeit a big cut, but it'll be a nice bonus. I'd rather get the most bang for my buck. Throw them in cargo. Yeah, works for me. Try not to make too many sharp turns.